if you've been keeping up with the tutorial series, you'll notice that in the last one, we did not add this link right here in our index.boy.php that goes to this page. Why? Well, because it's pretty much repetitive. We're going to be doing this over and over again. So, uh, as a you know, little bonus assignment, you guys can go ahead and do this yourself. Pretty much just create an A graph, put the link, put the title of the link, and put a break tag afterwards. Uh, that's it. This week we're going to be covering multiple parameters. So last week we passed one parameter, and if we can pass one parameter, we can pass more than one. So let's create a new route, and we'll call it Scary Toddler Moments. No, we're not going to be talking about kids that should appear in horror movies because they're so damn scary. No, these are moments that I've experienced that made me gasp and almost pull out the remainder of my non-existent hair. So we'll call this route get uh, scary toddler moments. Then we'll pass a function right here. That is going to be returning a view, and that view is going to be called scary toddler moments. All right, so prior to this, we've been creating the view right away, but this time we'll start off with creating the arguments themselves, so the parameters that we're going to be passing. So if you look at the last tutorial, we had an array, and that array had a key value pair that was passed. Well, the reason why it's an array is so that you can actually pass multiple key value pairs. So what do I mean? I mean, here's one key, let's go into a value, here's another key, go into a value, and a third key, go into a value. And these all have to be unique keys. It's just an associative array, um, pretty standard PHP stuff. So let's go ahead and start coming up with our key value pairs. Uh, for the time being, we're just, we're gonna be creating a list in our scary toddler moments. So we'll just have number one, number two, and number three. So what's going to be the first scary toddler moment? He licked the bottom of his shoe. Yes, this actually happened. Brought him back home from school, told him to take off your shoes before you get inside the house. And as I'm turning back around to see if he's finished, he did just that. He licked the bottom of his shoe. And I mean, I gasped and I said, why would you do that? And he just looked with a panic look on his face and said, I don't know. And that was it. I started laughing at I mean, what could you do? All right, so the second one, he said that he talks to Ishii. Of course, it had to sound Asian. He knows how scared I am of Asian ghosts. Thanks, Grudge. I uh, later found out that he was talking to his shadow, but that didn't really help me much. And the third one, he did a front flip off the couch. Uh, he's six years old. I think when he did this, he was, eh, he was six. Uh, when I told him never to do that again, he looked at me and said, front flips are easy. So yeah, so there are three things that we're going to be putting in our view. Uh, so now we have to create our view. And the view name is going to be scary toddler moments dot blade dot php. Let's put in our HTML5 snippet. And we're going to write scary things my son does and inside the body scary things my toddler does just to change it up a little bit we'll put that in a div tag I keep forgetting about these HTML snippets I can just do uh, I think div.ul.li nope div let's just do div ul and then li and then we can do li again and li one more time all right so just like previous week we're going to be just doing this with php let's go ahead and copy this tag and we're going to say echo number one Echo number two, and echo number three. Great. So now we have our view, 
type is going to be echoing out the three keys that were generated right here. So if we open this up in our browser, and we put forward slash scary toddler moments, there we go. Scary things my toddler does. He licked the bottom of his shoe. He said he talks to Ishii, and he did a front flip off the couch.